and now I'd like to introduce you to our project to apply machine learning and automation in general to the task of web data extraction. We started this project a few years ago, but we're just at our first major milestone, which is a general public um, release of our model of our extraction capability for articles and products. And I'd like to welcome Brian O'Brien on stage to demo and talk about it. Thanks, Sam. Okay, so before we start, okay, I thought it would be good to have a demo, okay, where I'll talk to, um, you know, one of the fun things you can do with the API, okay. So for you, for those of you who are not rugby fans, okay, the Rugby World Cup, okay, starts next week. It's in Japan, and for the first time ever, Ireland uh, is ranked the number one team, okay. So I, so I thought it would be fun to, you know, pull out a bunch of uh, URLs from August, okay, news URLs to see which country is getting the most mentions, okay. Um, so I took a million news URLs, I passed them through the API, okay, and what I found was uh, approximately uh, 10,000 of those URLs uh, had, uh, after filtering through them, okay, had what I would qualify as uh, rugby uh, news, okay. And uh, of course the question is, okay, uh, which country has the most mentions? I'm sure you all know now, I'm sure. <laughs> so that didn't really work, okay. Uh, but uh, maybe I'll ask you, okay, which country has the second most mentions? Guess? New Zealand, yeah, it's a good guess, okay. Okay, which is the uh, third most mentioned, since it's a trick question, because it's a tie. So, Australia and Ireland, okay. So, and which has the uh, least mentions, which was a surprise to me? No, Namibia, okay. I, I would have thought Namibia would be better than that, that you know, but... Uh, so, um, so this is something that we can do very easily. Okay, the most basic thing you can do is count the, uh, the number of mentions of whatever the noun is. Okay, uh, so, um, okay so what have I heard? Okay, um, so if we look at chess okay, in the 90s, okay, 1997 uh, was the last time a human being beat a, a computer in chess, okay, in or around there, Gary Kasparov. Okay? He was beaten by an IBM machine, okay, he complained about it. He went away and he came up with a, this notion of man-machine working together can beat machine. Okay, and that was true up until pretty much recently. Okay, and then came along another uh, set of technology, machine learning technology this time, and it beat the, uh, the, the, chess, um, the chess engine, the top chess engine, using machine learning technology. So uh, we believe, okay, that in the future, okay, it will be, and we're going to work towards that, okay, we, 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 that will be possible for us to uh, discover uh, the rules, okay, uh, uh, that will enable us to do dis uh, crawling uh, using machine learning technology. It's not as simple as chess. Chess has simple rules. Uh, it, crawling and, and, uh, and extraction does not have the same simple rules. Um.